Prosecuting attorney Marilyn Mosby has recently come under fire for her announcement over the weekend charging six officers in the death of 25-year-old Baltimore man Freddie Gray. Joining us in the studio is Neville Mitchell. He's a criminal defense attorney and practiced in New York City for 20 years and also represented the parents of Sean Bell, who was shot and killed by police in 2006. Welcome back to Arise America, Neville. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank There's you. been a lot of talking and criticizing, really, of, of the state's attorney in Marilyn, uh, Marilyn Mosby about how quickly she came back with these charges. So let me just ask you, ask you to react to the speed, the swiftness with which she brought these charges. It could have been quicker. It could have been quicker? That's all I have to uh, say What do you mean that? by that? Quicker. I mean, the police turned over their investigation right. literally the day before. She was doing her own investigation, um, which was uh, parallel to the police investigation. Um, many people are surprised by the speed of the charges, but that's not uncommon in criminal prosecutions. Most it, does it York. tell you anything, the fact that she brought them back so quickly? It tells me that she uh, believes in the case and she, she thinks she has enough evidence uh, to go forward. That's what it tells me. Uh, and let's talk about these charges. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to find them, but they, they range every, uh, from uh, an illegal arrest, mm -hmm. and I think I'm getting probably that name wrong, to second degree manslaughter of the driver of the police van. Right. Many have also criticized her, particularly the police union, about bringing these charges so quickly, but saying that she's overreached and perhaps overcharged with these. What's your assessment? She was elected by the, by the Baltimore City residents uh, to represent them as the prosecutor for Baltimore City. I think that based on the circumstances of this case, uh, the charges that she brought are appropriate. I think the speed in which they were brought are appropriate. As I indicated, I think they could have been much quicker. Uh, you've gotten a lot of um, blowback from p police unions and even some defense attorneys uh, mm. about how quickly the charges were brought. But that's not unusual. Uh, in most cases, people are charged by the police department and say in New York City, if you're detained after your charge and you don't make bail, they have to charge you within uh, 120 hours, 144 hours at most if it's a weekend. That's six days. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not uncommon, and I'm sure it's similar in Baltimore. It's, it's definitely not uncommon. In this particular case, because this has captured the attention, the imagination of the entire country, everybody's watching, I'm sure she feels some degree of pressure from that. Does it serve her, does it serve Baltimore uh, to act so quickly, or would it serve her better to be a little more measured? Well, the suggestion is not she's not is that she's not measured. I think she is measured. I oh think boy, she, aren't you I an think, attorney? <laughs> no, I, I really, I really believe. I, you know what what she has done in Baltimore, in my view, is what should have happened in Staten Island. Um, she sees a crime, right? Based on the evidence, most people, I think, majority of the people saw a crime when when uh, Eric Garner was killed. The prosecutor in in uh, in Staten Island should have charged that case. If you see a crime, you charge it, and then you present it to the grand jury. You don't do it backwards and sort of investigate whether or not there was a crime. She sees a crime, she charges it. She, she now has to present it to a grand jury, and they're going to decide uh, if, in fact, they agree that th th these these charges or other charges should be brought. That's I want to talk about the next step in the process, but before we get to that, let's talk about her connections. Mosby is a uh, fourth generation law enforcement mm -hmm. connection to law enforcement. She's married mm -hmm. uh, to uh, someone in law enforcement, and so many have called that she step aside and appoint a special prosecutor. In your view, is that necessary? No. <laughs> is she your hey, cousin? She, no. She, no, she's not. Listen, I have some connection to Baltimore, right? I went to the <laughs> University of Maryland Law School at Baltimore. I lived in Baltimore for three years. I won't say how long ago that was, but I lived in Baltimore for several years. I don't think the fact that she has uh, several generations of police officers, her grandfather, her father, and I think some aunts, um, affects her one way or the other. I don't think the fact that her husband is a city councilman in Baltimore City affects her one way or another. We never hear those kinds of things um, when, when you have other prosecutors. Well, let me... And by other prosecutors, what do you really mean? Other prosecutors that have uh, ties to, to people, that know judges, and you don't hear this. All of these are red herrings. Mm. I would suggest to you that if we're so concerned about connections, I don't want to... You know, rock anybody's boat, but how come Hillary gets to run for president? Mm, very interesting. Bill was a president. Very quickly, what's the next step? Then this must go to a grand jury, correct? Yes. It's, it's the, the evidence that she has it will be presented to a grand jury, and the grand jury, which is made up of 23 people, similar to New York in Baltimore, and they will decide if a crime was committed based on what they see from the evidence, and if these persons, you know, who, who, who among those six committed crimes. And then once they do that, uh, they'll either indict, we'll come back with a true bill, 
or they won't indict, they come back with a no true bill. So people shouldn't you know, rush her on this. She's following the process, and I don't think she's done anything uh, that is out of the norm that prosecutors do every single day. It's always such a great pleasure to speak with you, Neville Mitchell. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good to see you.